wanted to do this video because I had just tonight I had what I believe to be a new sister in Christ somebody who's still young in the Word of God who had texted me and or messaged me and said that she would be unsubscribing to my channel because I attack the false prophets. So I want to do this to teach you a little bit more and give you a better understanding. Now you can find in, and this goes, this actually is associated to all the true prophets of God. They all stood against the false prophets of their times. And these are the Trump prophets. The false prophets are the Trump prophets of our times that I'm standing against. And just two chapters that I will refer you to is 1 Kings chapter 18 and Ezekiel chapter 13 to see that all the true prophets were called to stand against the false prophets of their times. And actually, this the... Uh, Old Testament called for the false prophets to be utterly destroyed, completely destroyed, because what they do is lead away the street uh, sheep. They lead them astray. So what I want to teach you, which is very important for you to understand, and this is not what's completely taught in the Bible. You can go further in depth and study and, and understand this more if you so choose. So King David, King David was anointed by God. Very important to understand that. And that's made very clear in scripture. And what he did, uh, which gained and garnered him a kingship was he killed Goliath with his slingshot and stone, but he killed uh, his during his kingship, all the giants were destroyed, were killed. And these can be also seen and considered as false prophets of their time. But to understand why he was anointed by God is to go all the way back to his childhood. King David was a shepherd boy. He was a shepherd of the sheep. And we know all the parallelisms of how Christ is a shepherd and we are his sheep. So King David was a shepherd boy. He protected the sheep. And the reason he was able to kill the giants with his slingshot and stone was because he had perfected his aim. He had perfected that a uh, skill by using it against the wolves in sheep's clothing. He had perfected his skill of killing and destroying the wolves that were trying to destroy and eat and devour the sheep, which is spoken of. The false prophets are considered wolves in sheep's clothing. This is why King David was anointed to be the king, because as a shepherd boy, he had perfected the skill of destroying the wolves in sheep's clothing, because they would come up in the night. And this is also important why it teaches about uh, not sleeping, you know, and don't be in slumber. Keep your eyes open. Be guardful, because King David would he just refuse to allow even one sheep to be taken by a wolf in sheep's clothing, which are the false prophets. This is why he was anointed as king by God himself, because even as a shepherd boy, he refused to allow even one sheep to be taken by a wolf. And this is what the false prophets are described as a wolf in sheep's clothing looking to devour and lead astray the sheep. 
So when you begin to understand that and when you have read the whole Bible, studied it in depth for 40 plus years as I have, only then will you realize the ancient discernment that's given. When you're new in Christ, you don't fully understand. And again, she pointed out uh, the old proverb, that's what she gave me, the old proverb of you can attract more flies with honey than with vinegar. Well, I'm not trying to attract flies. I'm not attracting flies. That is not my job. I am attracting the ones that are on the narrow path. And the prophets of old, if you read carefully, never had a good word for ones that were seeking the wide path. They did not attract the flies. They they didn't give out honey. That's what's spoken of. That's what's called a soothsayer, which is spoken of many times in Scripture. It's spoken against. So, no, I am not a soothsayer like the false prophets. That's what's considered a false prophets. I'm not attracting flies. I will swat a fly faster and as fast as I will destroy a wolf in sheep's clothing. So be sure you know the word of God fully. Be sure you're uh, not one of these that have just come to Christ, a small child, and I, I understand that. I get that you're young in Christ, but don't call out someone who's been doing this for and studying this for 40 plus years because the word is truth and I can clearly point out the word in the scriptures that will show you what I'm doing is righteous. All I do is ask you to study the word so that you can be found approved. God bless.